Hey everybody, welcome to the 5th slash 6th edition of the Countdown to 2020 WIP Work in Progress Reviews. And um, here I want to talk about something that I've talked about before. And you can consider it a work in progress. It's kind of like with the Great hey, it's kind of like with the Great Herodini story uh, by Crime Zero Edge, and that is uh, the uh, s- series of stories uh, created via webcomic uh, by Mister Internet Man, and that is of Demonica. And um, basically, the story series of each webcomic is called Mystic Makeover, and it has a subtitle to go along with it. Now, I'm going to say this honestly. I've mentioned it before. I'll mention it again. These these are actually very entertaining webcomics that he does. Sometimes he just um, does like a few pages, like six pages, four pages. Sometimes it just does like one shot uh, pages where it's like panels, multiple panels, like three or four panels put together on one page. And then sometimes he really goes the distance and he uh, creates um, a series of stories that or he creates, well, he creates a webcomic. Uh, I'll put it this way. He, he creates a webcomic, a mystic make, makeover webcomic that goes uh, beyond, you know, a limitation of. A be, or goes beyond the limits of a four to five page deal or a six page deal. Uh, the longest he'll go sometimes is 28 to 30, maybe 35 pages at most. And it all has to deal with the scenario sometimes that he puts Demonica in. Now, in case you guys don't know who Demonica is, as I've mentioned before, when I've talked about this, I'll mention it again. Demonica is actually the mischievous demon elf alter ego of a college student named Veronica. Now, long story short, Veronica in the first story uh, is given this mysterious package that has this lipstick in there called Nightshade. So when she applies the Nightshade uh, to her lips, it turns her into the mischievous demon elf alter ego called Demonica. And almost instantaneously, As Demonica, Veronica is able to kind of get the gist of what her powers are capable of doing, what she'll be able to do, what she's be, what she'll be able to, um, you know, like I said, what she'll be, what she'll be able to do. Do she gets basically, like I said, as soon as she becomes Demonica, she kind of gets the gist of what her powers are capable of, like what she's able to turn into, you know. And by, you know, doing so, take on the traits of what she turns into. She uh, learns that if she can turn into somebody else, she can actually create an alter ego. Um, It's kind of different from who she is. And throughout many of the Mystic Makeover stories at times, um, that's exactly what happens. Like, as presented in recent chapters by, by Minor Dash Alterations, there is an a character that she creates almost right off the bat, I just, like I said in the first story, when she gets the gist of her powers, or pretty much quickly learns of what her powers are capable of. Uh, basically, she creates this um, alter ego of hers called Monica, who's kind of like a seductive seductress, and as Minor Dash Alterations puts in their story adaptation of Demonica, it's kind of like a celebrity amongst the celebrities themselves. Like the, she is like the A triple plus uh, lister amongst the A lister celebrities. Like the A list celebrities are fans of hers and and stuff. So yeah, um, but yeah, he's been doing the Mystic Makeover deal for like a couple of years now, and he's got a lot of them. Um, sometimes he just, sometimes he'll just. Um, use them like when he started out with it he would use them to kind of you know get to show you know kind of show demonica turning into different inanimate objects or mythical creatures or animals or even you know other like i said other people other alter egos and um and uh basically the the other thing that he's done with the Mystic Makeover series in recent years as well 
is not just like showcase demonica you know veronica slash demonica uh turning into you know different inanimate objects or different things things or different mythical creatures or animals um but um But like I said, um, as, you know, some, like I said, you know, as in the earlier portions of the stories where we get to know Demonica, Veronica a little bit better, she would usually, like I said, the comic strips would usually not be too long. They appear to be like eight, ten pages, and it would show Demonica, you know, Veronica turning into Demonica and then go into these different shapes, like, you know, shape-shifting into different inanimate objects, vehicles, animals, mythical creatures, you know, liquefying, if you will, to put a little goo, oop, where, you know, sometimes she feels like she could just remain that way forever because she's so formless and free and doesn't have a care in the world. Uh, but the other thing that he's done as the series progressed, as I was trying to say, is he would show that Demonica, or Veronica, when she turns into Demonica, has the power to split herself into multiple personalities, into basically multiple people. Basically, it's like she's the same woman, but she'll have the same hairstyle, but different colors. Sometimes she'll be different kinds of women with different hairstyles. And what's interesting about that in these recent chapters is sometimes it'll end with uh, Demonica at with Veronica slash Demonica after she's kind of split herself into these multiple female characters um, it usually will end with her basically, believe it or not making out with herself, you know doing some NFS doing some NFSW um, action with herself, basically you know, having you know, making love with herself basically that's it, you know, and I know that sounds strange, but it's true because like I said, as the webcomic series progressed with the different mystic makeover stories, at times, you know, like I said, the, one, the newest power that, would got, that gets introduced would be, you know, um, Veronica slash Demonica, you know, being able to split herself into these different women and make out with her. And usually it's an end result of her. And usually the end result at the end of the webcomic that does that or showcases that is she basically makes love to herself. Whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, a four-way, or three-way, no matter how you look at it, she ends up making love to herself. Now, the other thing about some of the Mystic Makeover series is he also introduces Demonica to another character called Exotica, who is the who has identical powers to Demonica and is the alter ego of another f human female called Rebecca. And recently, um, he uh, uploaded some pictures. Uh, actually, it was like three or four pages that were connected to each other where Demonica and Exotica fused equally into a character called Z, called uh, 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 called Zaya. And Zaya is, you know, basically like, you know, she has the hairstyle of Rebecca on one side. Basically, well, her hair basically is split equally down the middle where it's like one side is blue, one side is purple. You know, so it's like she's a perfect blend of both. So that's really interesting. Uh, speaking of Rebecca slash Exotica being introduced to Mystic Makeover, we also find out that, um, and speaking of fusion, there are several times that they fused together before. The first time they did, it was, you know, both had control, both uh, had their minds intact, and they both kind of controlled the body they shared after the fusion. The... The other thing, the next, the second time they fused, um, they ended up fusing into a, a character that, whose personality, uh, after they fused, dominated over theirs, and it was called, and the character was called Angela, and Angela, according to Mister Internet Man, was basically, almost the exact opposite of what Rebecca slash Exotica and Veronica slash Demonica were. In other words, Angela, the fused form that they became, the second fused form, was very narcissistic, vain, and only cared about herself. You know, kind of basically, she was the dark version of 
of the girls uh, combined together. It's like this is the dark side of them coming out. And then, like, the third time they had a fusion, they, it was recently It's in a comic series called Mystic Makeover Cat, Cat Fancy, where they both kind of, you know, shapeshift into Catwoman from, like, the 1992 Batman movie. And then, in the final two pages, they end up fusing into one. So, you know, there's that. And then the fourth fusion, like I said, is when they do it equally and they become Zaya. Uh, you know, they become Zaya, um, if you will. But like I said, the but like I said, overall the the Mystic Makeover series is very identical to the Great Herdini series on uh, on uh, Echo's Portal by Crime Zero Edge. Where if you want to see any kind of continuation, um, you know, you just have you know, well, you can't. I think. You can maybe commission or something. I'm not really sure. You see, the one thing about Mr. Internet Man is he's very pe peculiar in commissions. Like, there'll be times he'll open up for commissions, and there are times he'll just, like, you know, if he's going to do a Mystic Makeover uh, comic, he's going to do it when you least expect it, so or when he feels like it. And um, um, overall... You know, and like overall, you know, it's just up to, uh, it's just up to him. And like I said, you know, sometimes it's just up to him. You know, sometimes he'll feel like doing one. You know, sometimes he'll feel like, hey, I'm going to do a big one. And usually when he starts doing a big one, he starts around like the middle of the week, towards the weekend and finishes it up before the weekend's over or right at the beginning of the new week on a Monday. Like if he does one of those 28 to 33 page comics, uh, web comics of Mystic Makeover. Usually, he'll start in the middle of the week and he'll end by Sunday, or he'll start on a, a Thursday and end by Sunday, or even end by Monday, depending on any, if anything else comes up. So, um, overall, you know, it's all depending on how he feels. But he, if he ever does open up to commissions down the line, because I think he used to do it. You know, like I said, he used to do it. Um, you know, he'll do it. He'll do a commission. But again, it's up to him whether he opens that up again or not. But the Mystic Makeover series is still ongoing. It, uh, the Mystic Makeover webcomic series, I should say, is still ongoing. It's just one of those comics to where you really got to, you know, be patient with it. Or one of those webcomic series where you got to be patient with it and just wait to see what he, you know, brings to the fold next time. And usually sometimes he, entered, he, sometimes usually it's around like holidays or week, certain weekends, like it's every other month, like it's every month, but sometimes it could be every few weeks. So uh, the, the scheduling is kind of weird because you never know. That's the thing. It's an unknown. It's unpredictable. So, you know, he could do a 38, a 33 page webcomic of Mystic Makeover one month. And then the following month, he could just do a six-page deal. Or he might go back-to-back. Back. One month, he'll do 33 pages, take a bit of a break, you know, throw some little artworks here and there, one panels, two panels, if you will. And then the following month, maybe a month and a half later, he'll do another 28 to 38-page deal. Who knows? So it's an unpredictable, you know, unknown scheduling kind of deal with him. But like I said, if he ever does do commissions again, because like I said, I think he used to do them, like I said, he used to do them, and um, he uh, he would, uh, you know, like I said, if he ever does do commissions, if he's if he decides to do them, because like I said, I think he's done them before, you know, that'll open up the door even more for possible ideas. Because, you know, the one thing about, like I said, the Mystic Makeover series is he also has crossed Demonica over with not just, you know, his uh, another original character that he's created in Exotica slash Rebecca, but he's also cr crossed him over with, you know, um, like, for example, Minor Dash Alterations Ruby Walker. He's crossed him over with other characters like Morphica and characters like Lilith, and these are from different people. And, and he even crossed him over with... Uh, basically two sisters whose shtick is just for fun 
or out of boredom, they allow themselves to be turned into a meter maids or mystic, a mechanical maids or something like that, that will, you know, allow themselves to be placed in storage along with identical ones, identical maids, robotic maids, if you will, for months, maybe a year or so. So he's crossed Demonica, Demonica slash Veronica over with uh, not just, you know, like I said, Rebecca slash Exotica, who's his own character, but with other content creators' characters as well on DeviantArt. And what's interesting as well, you know, I mentioned earlier that during some of the later um, web comics that he would do, where it would be discovered that Demonica slash Veronica could split, her, or Veronica slash Demonica could split herself into different women, basically, you know, different women with either the same, um, with either the same hairstyle but different colors, or the, or different women with diff, or different um, hairstyles. One thing that's been noted is uh, basically these women that, you know, Veronica slash Demonica could split herself into acknowledge Veronica. Like there's one comic towards the end where the two women that Demonica, that Veronica slash Demonica split themselves into acknowledge that Veronica has to have a wicked little mind to come up with their exi- to come up with the idea for their existence and all that. And then the other woman's like, well, well let's give her something to remember us by. So, and then that's when they end up ending the, that comic which is, I think, called uh, Two of a Kind or something like that. That's when they end that one with, of course, uh, the women that Veronica slash Demonica has twin, uh, you know, uh, split themselves into um, end up making making love, you know, to each other, you know, making love, if you get my idea, get my drift of it. You, you kind of get the idea. So, um, so overall... So overall, the Mystic Makeover webcomic series is definitely one you need to check out. It's been, like I said, it's been going on for about a year or two now, and there are interesting concepts with it. it really is. So, you know, so yeah, I would recommend checking it out. He recently just did one where Veronica slash Demonica, as Demonica, split herself into two uh, robotic fembots of lo- of the Law and Order kind of perspective. So. So, uh, again, you know, check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, but overall, that's all I could say on this 5th slash 6th edition of the Countdown to 2020 WIP Work in Progress uh, Reviews. And this one being on Mr. Internet Man's Mystic Makeover webcomic series. So let me know what you guys think down, down below. Comment if you like. I'd love to hear from each and every one of you. And I'm out.